Larsa Pippen says she was not a fan of Michael Jordan's recent comments on her relationship with Michael Jordan, saying they were flat out embarrassing and traumatizing. <laughs> just listen to what she said. I think he said no, just in a joking way, knowing yeah. that, you know how Jordans play around. And so I thought it was funny from the from the jump, but obviously we had to talk about it and kind of iron yeah, some things work our through. way through that one. Yeah, and so uh, I guess how we found out about it, we were in bed and. Obviously, my dad called and texted, and then TMZ dropped the story. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you you knew it was going to go viral right away? No, I didn't. I, I kind of felt like, oh, okay, no one's going to pick this up because it was like whatever. <laughs> yeah. But it literally went everywhere. And I was kind of like, I think people started to think that online they were saying that I was lying, that I lied and said, you know, our parents are fine because I was doing interviews and I was literally saying like, both of our families are fine. When I would say that, I felt like I didn't embellish that. I was like, they're fine. They want us to be happy. And I would always say that our parents both want us to be happy. And if we make each other happy, then it's great. Yeah. But I do understand that it's not awkward for us to be together because it's us, but it probably is awkward for my ex and your dad. Scotty Pippen's ex got real about the situation on the newest episode of her and Michael Jordan's Separation Anxiety podcast, saying that when Michael Jordan claimed last week that he didn't approve of her relationship with his son, it really bothered her. Hey, Mr. Jordan, what do you think about Marcus and Laza Pippen together? You approve of it? No. You don't approve? Do you think he's going to ask her to marry him? Lassa Pippen explained that most of her issues with her comments stem from previous conversations she had with Marcus and his family. She also said she has been ensured over and over again that there were no problems among the Jordans about their relationship, and it led her ultimately telling media members that Michael Jordan was okay with everything. And as you guys know, this situation involves two NBA legends, Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan. And NBA Twitter had a lot to say about this. Take a look at some of the things that people had to say. Somebody tweeted, the woman who hasn't been with Scottie Pippen for years, but still uses his last name for fame is traumatized. Another person also tweeted, what Lassa Pippen meant to say is, I have traumatized and embarrassed my family with my decision to date a guy I watched grow up. Oh shit, I didn't even think about it that way. Another person also tweeted, 60 year old Southern black man disapproves that his son is involved with a woman 17 years his senior who was also married to his longtime co-worker. Another person tweeted, You are traumatized because the guy who is the 60-year-old teammate of your ex-husband is not happy his son whose first memory of you is getting him a toy when he was seven is dating your 50-year-old self. Okay, man. Bro, if we're really being honest, this whole situation is weird because Lassa Pippen let current players who play on the same team as her son hit and is dating the son of Michael Jordan who she watched grow up in the Bulls locker room all while keeping the Pippen last name for clout, and now she's embarrassed that Michael Jordan didn't approve. Like, sometimes we gotta be fucking real with ourselves. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below.